and uh, the stock report and we're looking at Westpac here, WBC and I can say that um, ANZ is, is much the same and CBA, all the major ones are the same, the secondary banks, the Bank of Queensland and Bendigo and things are uh, in a different uh, count but um, there's just really the main point that I wanted to push across here is is not new we've been looking at this in in the um in the day ahead report in the indices section when we look at the banks now and again but basically we've got a bit of a top in play and um in terms of the bigger picture coming into the years here we're on a weekly chart here this is the gfc here and we've got basically an, an a and a b and a c here for this main correction through here and this is the top of a third wave in, in here and a fourth wave here but i won't go back into all of that just want to focus into what's important at the moment so it's pretty it's pretty clear that we've got a situation here where we've got a five wave sequence up here for primary wave one and primary wave two back to here and then we're working uh, primary wave three to the upside in five waves and those five waves would be of intermediate degree and that brings us to um, to this uh, five waves one two th three four and five and I won't go into all the third wave here because uh, I just want to keep this reasonably brief but um, yes we've had this um, uh, let me just check here that third here we've got we've got a triangle pattern across here for wave uh, four here of intermediate degree and then we've got wave five up here to make wave three at uh, medium level 40 here so if that is correct then we would see a corrective move back to the fourth wave of one lesser degree so technically we should see a move like that in the banking sector before we see any further upside here the further upside here would take us to fifty dollars which would be obviously further up the top up there so that's what we're sort of looking at here an a and a b and a c and if I just put this back onto the daily chart here, then we can just investigate uh, the last structure here with a little bit more detail. So it's quite clear that we've got wave one here and an ABC for wave two to be completed there. And then we've got, uh, just open this up a little bit through here. And remembering this is the same as A and Z as well. So we've got wave three here wave four here and we've got wave five here of wave five of that third wave here so this is sort of where we are with it really and um, you know I don't think you need to be a professional person at Elliot to count these five waves here nice strong third wave here fourth wave and then one two three four five here so it's highly likely that we're going to start seeing uh, impulse waves uh, to the downside here and um, yeah we'll be looking to obviously go short from from that but we're looking it technically it should come back to the wave four of one lesser degree so we're, we're looking back towards thirty dollars here which is quite significant and you know I mean if you've got even equity trades in you'd want to kind of think you know of some sort of strategy to either you know if you've got tax problems with the situation well then you know you might want to take some CFDs out short or um, anyway give it some sort of thought but it's it's um, you know, if I've made a mistake then it would be that the market would only pull back to this way for one lesser degree but I can't really see I can't really see that sort of happening but um, Anyway, that's you know we talked about this top coming in here with ANZ, uh, and it's been in, and I'm just sort of re reiterating that point now, and it can move lower from here. So, if you wanted to take some action, that then that's fine. Because let's just say that I am wrong, uh, and you did you, you exited the market here, um, and this is not just going short. If that was the case, then 
let's just say that we get here and we get a move up through here then it would still come back in terms of uh, three waves here and then we would be looking for support on uh, on the 40 here so this would be basically this would be the setup coming across uh, this this top here so we would need this 40 to become a classic trading levels pattern to have here so even though if this was going to be the case this is the only other option so if this was the case then there's still such a long waiting time for this setup over here to occur anyway so it's not like you're going to miss much at this point um, so there's a pretty high probability that this market can work lower back towards this level here and as i mentioned this is the same for a and z as well all righty cheers